I just finished watching the Diablo 4 campfire chat and the plans that I had for this video have changed after watching this campfire chat. And let me elaborate. Behind me, you're going to see a video playing. This video playing is me. I did a pre-recording and I wanted to play Diablo 4 bingo with the campfire chat. Chat and I were talking about last week about how I would handle the Diablo 4 campfire chat. And we were coming up with different ideas on how to make a video on summarizing the Diablo 4 campfire chat. And, you know, after talking with a lot of people in my community, I said, oh, let me do a bingo card and I'll pre-record the bingo card and me explaining it. And then I'll watch the live stream uh, of the campfire and then I'll tie the two videos together and that would summarize the video. Well, I'm not doing that anymore because my bingo card was nowhere near, anywhere near what I thought they were going to discuss or highlight. Um, now, a lot of the points that I thought were going to be made were tongue in cheek, so don't get me wrong, but I have to say, um, I'm not going to make a long video on a summary of this campfire chat because I have to say I walked away after watching it. I couldn't watch it live. Uh, I had to watch it after the fact, but I have to say I found, I found the campfire chat. I, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, it was very disappointing. Um, so let me give you a quick rundown of what is happening, but I'm going to put a link to the video and you can go watch it for yourself. And uh, I would strongly suggest you have about three coffees before you watch it because you're going to need the caffeine. Sorry. Um, but basically, to summarize what happened with this campfire chat. So vampiric powers are coming, but they're coming back as legendaries and not all of them. They're addressing snapshotting. Uh, I'm not going to get into all the class changes, like the, the balance changes they made with all the different classes. Um, they announced the gauntlet. It's coming next Tuesday. And I'm going to very... Okay, so that's March 7th. Oh, sorry. March 5th. My apologies. March 5th, the gauntlet will go live. Um... They talked about season four being huge, huge. And how they phrased it was season two was a lot of big, con a lot of big advancements to the game. And they put a lot of content in season two. Well, season four is going to be even bigger in scope. So that's what they said. And the biggest probably news or one of them anyway, is they finally are putting a PTR. And for those of you that don't know what a PTR is, it's basically a public testing realm. This is where a lot of other games do this from day one, where they get the players to, they. it's basically a testing ground that players can go try stuff out and give back feedback. And the developers use that feedback um, to, you know, to mold the game, right? Um, you're getting actual feedback from the players because they're testing things out in the PTR. Um, so a PTR is coming to Diablo 4. Now, it's coming before Season 4 because they want players to try the new stuff that's happening in Season 4. Um, so, but console players, I'm sorry to say that it's only going to be for PC and Battle.net D4 players. So apologies to the console players, but it's only PC and Battle.net. But PTR, they're gonna have a they're gonna have a dedicated campfire chat. We don't know when, but obviously it's happening before season four. And they want people to go into the PTR before season four. So um that kind of gives you a time frame of when it's going to be. So a PTR is coming, but let me let me give you a little tidbit. 
they did speak to the fact it's not permanent because Joe said, well, you know, we'll put a PTR in when we feel there's a need. And I'm paraphrasing when there's a need to. So because there's so much stuff coming in season four, there will be a PTR for season four. But it's we're they're not always going to have a PTR, which I find give and take, give and take, give and, you know, Rob Peter to pay Paul. Like this is all that pops in my mind when I'm hearing them talk. But anyway, a PTR is coming for season four. That's some good news, I would suspect. And then they're doing, again, season four, a huge endgame update in season four. This is how they coined it. Um, that's basically a quick summary of the campfire chat. I have to say, as I go through these dot points, number one, the gauntlet. They had two Twitch streamers, Anna Cake Live and Mark Bio, Mark Bio Boy. Sorry, if I switch that around. Two very nice streamers. Um, they didn't play the game, the gauntlet. I thought they would be the ones. They were just commentating, and the actual actual developers of Diablo Four had the characters and played the gauntlet and we saw a live video of it and i will have it playing in the background as i'm speaking but i don't know you tell me does this look like fun to you um i gotta be honest when this came on i was just like you gotta be kidding me this looks boring and repetitive and there was a lot of backtracking going on um i also noticed disparity between the th classes that were demonstrating it they went through a necromancer a sorceress you know they went through all the different classes the barb and i don't know if you guys noticed but the scores like the barb was quadruple triple the scores of the sorceress and the necromancer. Now, they defended that very cleverly by making a statement, uh, guys, just remember, the leaderboards are class specific. So barbs are competing against barbs, sorceresses are competing against sorceress, you know, that kind of thing. I love how they, you know, they snuck that one in because they knew, holy moly, look at the, the range of scores. Like the necromancer was the lowest, the sorceress was the second highest and the barb was by far greater than the other two. Now, whether they demonstrated more, I got, I'm not going to lie to you. I fast forwarded the video and when they, when I stopped seeing the gauntlet, that's when I started watching again. Cause you know, anyway, uh, I'm not playing season three, so this doesn't matter to me, but for those of you that are going to be playing and are excited about the gauntlet, this is what it looks like, and you're going to be competing against whatever class you are. But I have to say, I found this presentation felt like a presentation. These, these are my personal opinions. Uh, it was very lackluster. It The whole mood, it just, they even looked Board. Now, Pez Radar is, you know, he's a communication director, so he's always going to be good at communicating. But I just found the whole, it was a lazy presentation. Forgive me for saying that. They're using the same graphs. You know, Adam Jackson went into class balances. He he had these little images in the corner, which he's used in the past. Like, all just copy paste copy paste and just update with whatever they're changing like just lazy the the gauntlet looks lazy the vampiric powers are the same just that they made them legendary and they're not bringing all of them um it just seems lazy and i don't want to talk more than i want to talk about because really i didn't want to make this video because it doesn't deserve to be covered. I'm sorry to say that. This is not an update. This is more 
nonsense with all due respect. It's all nonsense because I want to lay the foundation for you. Okay. Keep this in the back of your mind and this will hopefully make sense to you with everything that's going on in this landscape right now, ARPGs. Okay. Last epoch hitting it out of the park. Looks like they've turned the corner from that disastrous launch with the server instabilities and issues, right? They're still getting hundreds of thousands of players playing this game. And the worst part for Diablo 4 is everybody, the only bad thing that that is talked about for when it comes to Last Epoch is the server issues, okay? That's the main theme. Everybody's having fun and the like everything in the game everybody's ranting and raving about it that they already have itemization that they already have a loot filter quality of life specialization class balance like yada 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 right with that in their face and then when i mean their face i mean diablo 4 knowing they're going into this they knew this going into this right with path of exile coming with a poe 2 beta test months from now this summer this is the crap they come out with lackluster I, it mind-boggling i this like i should have listened to my community because you know what my community told me to do get a bag of popcorn and record yourself watching <laughs> watching the campfire chat that, that would be hilarious i should have done it because if you would have seen my facial expression when I watched it back, thank God actually I didn't record it because there's some profanities that were thrown at the screen. Because I can't believe if this was my company and my people were doing this, I would lose my mind because this is not helping their cause. I, okay, I can't guarantee anything, but I bet you the overwhelming consensus as this now is in the universe and more and more people are going to be talking about it and of course everybody's going to go on reddit everybody's going to go on x everybody's going to go on youtube and they're going to either say i love it or i hate it i bet you a dollar that it's going to be overwhelmingly negative and it's sad that this is in the light of having it's like your star player on your team is up to bat and he's got to hit a, he's got to move the players around the base and get a hit. And he goes up there and he strikes out to a pitcher that he typically can hit. Like this was their opportunity to just throw everything in the kitchen sink at us. And they elected to stay the course. They elected to stay the course. Every single topic they talked about today, it was the same course. Everything. They're happy with the Uber Uniques. They talked about Uber Uniques. They're happy. They're going to continue to collect the data, but they're happy with where it's at. Meanwhile, you can't scroll 10 Reddit posts without seeing one about I still haven't gotten it or I got to do 250 Uber Durial fights and I to get one. But they still, they can't even acknowledge. They can't even acknowledge when they're wrong or when they screwed up. They said today, season three, a lot of people had fun. I'm not going to say who it was, but in season three, a lot of people had fun. Season three was good. I'm paraphrasing. They can't even acknowledge when they misstep. And when you can't acknowledge when you made a mistake, then you can't get better. And therein lies the problem, folks. You can't get better until you acknowledge the fact that you effed up and shit needs to change. Not this tiny little steps. Today should have been everything in the kitchen sink. And what did we get? Smoke and mirrors 
and the same old, same old, same old. Sorry, I've said this before. I'm like a broken record. Disappointing. That's my summary for this campfire chat. Disappointing. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.